Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli and today we are going to talk about how to use automation in project management. So guys to manage projects, every venture, almost every venture and business use different type of project management tools to make their work easier and to meet the project deadlines. So Hubstaff task is one of those project management tools which will let you to create Kanban boards, to create to do list and to create a task assignment system all in one place. But guys assigning task manually one by one to everyone in a team on daily basis can consume a huge amount of time and energy of a project manager. And that will decrease the productivity of whole team. So here is the deal. Let me tell you an automation process by which you can assign task in hub staff automatically to all of your team members from your Google Sheets. Yes, guys. So here you just have to enter the details of the task and the issues in the spreadsheet that you have in Google Sheet and the same task will be assigned to your team in hub staff automatically. OK, so now let me show you how it is going to work. So guys, the flow of this automation is going to look like this as and when you enter the task details in a row in Google Sheet application, the same task will be created and assigned in hub staff to a team member automatically. Okay, and to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. So guys, please do check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free tasks, free automation tasks for every month. Okay, after that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect here like this. And here you have to set up this automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So here I have given the name to this workflow as create and assign task in hub staff from Google Sheets automatically. Okay. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these two things. The trigger is the happening of any event and the action is the response to this to that event. OK, so in our use case, the trigger event would be uh, entering of details of a task in Google Sheet and the action or the response to that trigger would be to create an assigned task in hub staff. OK, so first of all, you have to set up the, your trigger. For that, you have to choose your trigger application first from this choose app field. So here we have the trigger application as Google Sheets. So you will find Google Sheets here, select it. Then it will ask for the trigger event. So the trigger event is update or a new row uh, that is going to be added in your sheet. OK, so that will trigger this workflow. So select this. And it will give you this URL. So this is called as a webhook URL. So with the help of this, we are going to connect our spreadsheet that is Google Sheet here with Pavli Connect and we will fetch the data. So webhook URL is used to fetch the data out from an external application to here in Pavli Connect. OK, so with the help of this, we are going to fetch the data of a task from our spreadsheet to here in Pavli Connect. And with the help of that data only, we are going to create a new task in Hub staff. OK, so you can follow these steps written here. Let me show you how you can connect your Google Sheet application. First of all, you just have to copy this webhook URL by clicking here on this copy button. OK, and then you have to reach your spreadsheet application. So this is my spreadsheet uh, I have created in Google Sheets application. And here I am uh, writing the details of a project or a task like this here I am entering the details of an application and the task that I want to assign. OK, so this is the application. Then this is the task I want to assign or create in hub, hub staff. OK, now you have to click on this extension and from this add ons, you have to go to get add ons. And from this add ons page, you have to search for an add on add on which is called Pabli connect Vabooks this one. OK. 
So you have to install this add on here in Google Sheet. This is a free add on and you can install it in just two minutes. OK, so you can see I have already installed it, so I do not need to install it again. But once you install it, you have to one, do one thing after installing Fably Connect Fabbox, you have to refresh your spreadsheet. OK, so do remember to refresh your spreadsheet after installing Fably Connect Fabbox. And after that, when you click on extensions, you will find Fably Connect Fabbox option available here in the drop down only. And from this option, you have to click on this initial setup. OK. And in this initial setup window, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL field and the trigger column. And in this webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from Pabli Connect. And in the trigger column, you have to enter the name of the last or the final data entry column that you have in your spreadsheet. So you can see this is my final data entry column, the B column. And as I enter the details here, the workflow is going to trigger and this data will be delivered to public connect. OK, so let me fill in the details. I'm going to initial setup again. And in the webhook URL field, I am going to paste the webhook URL that I have copied. And here is the B in the trigger column. OK, now uh, let me show you. As I have copied this webhook URL from Pabli Connect, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response in this workflow. You can see it, it is still waiting for the webhooks response. This means now you have to perform a test submission or you have to fetch the test details of any uh, task from your Google Sheet and bring it here in this workflow so that we can use the data of that task to create a task in Hubstaff. Okay. So to do a test submission, you need to go back to your spreadsheet and you have to click here on the send test option in the initial setup. And when you click here, the test data or the data of the first row that you have in your spreadsheet will be delivered as the test data in your workflow. Let me show you. I'm clicking here on send test and you can see the test data sent successfully. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data. And you can see that we have re received the response here like this. OK, so it is sh showing the task, the spreadsheet's name, the spreadsheet ID, the sheet's name. OK, so we got the details of uh, the row that we have here like this. OK. Now you just have to click on this submit button of initial setup and you have to do one thing more here, which is you have to click on extensions and you have to come to public and webhooks and click on the send on event button. So when you click on send on event, what will happen whenever you add a new row here of a task in your spreadsheet, the data will be automatically transferred to public connect and the workflow will run. OK, so now to create a task in Hubstaff, you have to connect your Hubstaff application, Hubstaff task application in this action step. OK, so from this action step, choose Hubstaff this one. OK. Then you have to select the action event. So public Connect provides you these three action events like you can create a client, you can create a project automatically or you can create a task. So now I'm selecting this create task option. Then I'm clicking on connect and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with Hubstaff. OK. And from uh, this window, it will ask to log in if you are not logged in as I have already logged in in Hubstaff, it is asking to authorize your application. So click on authorize. OK. And you'll be connected with Hubstaff like this. So you can see the authorization is successful. And we are connected now. OK, now it is asking for the organization's name, the project's name, the assignee's name and the summary. OK, so from this drop down, you can select the name of your organization, which you have in Hubstaff. This is my name, Papcon. OK, and here you have to select the project's name. So if you have multiple projects, you can find the projects in this drop down. Right now, uh, you can see this is my Hubstaff's dashboard and this is the only one active project I'm running here. You can see and the name of the project is Connect App. OK, so I can select this project from this field, Connect App. And here in this assignee field, you can assign the task to any specific team member in your team. OK, so if you have the team, uh, many team members, you will find all the team members name here. Right now, I have only one team member in my hub staff, which is Ashirai. So it is showing only one. 
so i am assigning this task to this person okay and here in the summary i am going to map the details of a task that i got from google sheet application okay so we got the task details here in this response uh, in the first tab you can see these are the task details so i'm going to map this data here in the second step okay so when you map the data what will happen whenever you uh, enter a new row the data will be changed dynamically and a new task will be created okay so to map the data just click here on this summary field and you will find the google sheets step the first step in the drop down and from this uh, uh, step you can find the task details as the application name and the task name so i'm going to map both of these things application comma the task okay and if you want to provide any additional information you can give here only but remember the maximum uh, characters you can use in summary is 200 so you have to be very precise here so you have to uh, you have to enter the details in your google sheet as well in this precise uh, format only okay okay now we are done as uh, mapping the details now let's check our connection if it is uh, creating a new task in hubspot or not so i am clicking here on save and send test request and a new task will be created here in my hubspot application let me show you where you can find the tasks so here i have this to do list and in this to do list you can uh, see your task here okay right now i have any i don't have any task let me show you by clicking on save and send test request if a new task is going to be created or not okay so here it is showing us this uh, task id in the response and all these things let's check in hub uh, hub staff only i'm refreshing the page and you can see a new task created here google sheet webhook given late response this is the task assigned to this person ashirai created at this date and time okay this is how it is going to work in real time our connection working very properly and this automation is running now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here and guys you have to set up this automation you have to make the connections and map the data only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here in workflow after that you just have to put in the details of the task in the spreadsheet and the same task will be assigned and created in hub staff like this automatically okay so let me show you in the trigger first of all in the trigger i connected my google sheet application and with the help of this webhook url and fetched the test details of the task like this after that in the action step i connected hub staff application to create a task and i selected all, selected the required things map the summary and check the connection that was working properly now you just have to click on save and guys the be best part is i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.